Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm here this morning with Caesar, and we're just past Corona Del Mar in shallow water. We're looking at about eight to 10 feet. And visibility is not too bad. You can see clear to the bottom. Now, if you look towards the lower half of your screen, you'll start seeing specks of orange. Those are Garibaldi along with other types of fish. My goal today was to locate the rocky areas of Newport Beach to find where the fish hung out. To do this, we actively searched for lobster traps, so I marked a bunch of new waypoints today. So I cast out a shrimp, and the first fish I land this morning is a rock wrasse. Soon after that, I catch this Garibaldi, the California state fish. So I quickly let this guy go. You may have noticed from the underwater footage earlier that there were just so many Garibaldi in this area. Just beneath my kayak, there was like a school of them. And they just kept attacking the shrimp I was casting out. Here's the first of several California sheephead caught today. They were all about the same size, so I let everything go. Now I brought both shrimp and squid as bait today, but shrimp was a hot item. I had half a pound and it was gone in no time. Here I've cast out a shrimp and after sitting on the bottom for a few minutes, it gets inhaled by this scorpion fish, also known as sculpin. Now normally I'll just yank a fish into my yak but you need to be careful. You don't want a fish like this flopping around in a small confined space where it could easily poke your legs or your feet. So I use the net to bring them in and I try to minimize handling them. You could lip grip them, but I like, actually I prefer to use fish grippers for a fish like this. Notice the size of this guy. To keep one of these, they need to be at least 10 inches in length. This one was closer to 12 inches. If you're fishing for sculpin, it's open season year round and their meat is supposed to be really good. Here's a better look at him. He was a definite keeper, but I just let him go. I didn't want to risk getting poked by one of his spines. It was quite the productive day. So in addition to catching fish, I was also able to identify new fishing spots and I marked them all as waypoints on my fish finder. So now we no longer have to rely on fishing the kelp beds. In fact, the areas that I marked today are much closer to the harbor. And here comes Caesar as he approaches the landing point. Well, thanks again for watching. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe and like this video.